Good evening, it's Tuesday, October 10th, and we have a sharp analysis of all the fires burning in Northern California. But first, on the SCW News Digest, we want to bring you some breaking news, and that is that we are hearing multiple cars that could be on fire near the areas of Union uh, and, uh, and Union Street here in Stockton. Union and Park Streets is where multiple multiple cars could be on fire again. Those are just initial uh, reports, and we will be working on getting more information on that as it becomes available. Now let's get to the death tolls of the fires that are growing across Northern California. So we have so far found out that 15 people have been confirmed dead in the fires across Northern California. Nearly 200 are still reported missing, and, a 14, and 14 of those deaths came from the fires destroying the wine country in Napa and Sonoma counties. We have also heard that the fire is rapidly approaching the community of Oakmont. All residents there have already been under a mandatory evacuation, but those who are still there are being urged to leave immediately. Now, as I mentioned, thousands of structures have burned and forward progress has not yet been stopped in that area. Nearly 1,100 firefighters have been assigned to the fire while the devastation begins to get assessed. One of the places destroyed in the blaze, the Silver Auto Resort, where the Safely Open had just finished. Stocktonians and viewers sent in these photos of the venue before the fires and these photos from Getty Images that showed the flames as they raced up that side of that venue just days after those initial photos were taken. We are happy to say that those who were there did make it back to Stockton safely in time before the fire broke out. However, the devastation witnessed there has been surreal to everyone. Now let's move east to Yuba County in the Yuba County area where many homes have burnt and 1,000 or in one person has died and thousands remain evacuated and evacuation centers for in that area due to the due to a major fire burning in that area. Now evacuation centers for all of these fires include the Sonoma County Fairgrounds which accepts large animals and Cook Middle School in Santa Rosa which offers medical support. And also for the Yuba County areas evacuation centers include the Yuba Sutter Fairgrounds in Yuba City. The fire in Calaveras County, just north of West Point, has charred 130 acres, burning multiple structures. Fortunately, no one has died in the blaze, which, which is now 50% contained. More good news in that fire is that yesterday, officials announced that they have stopped the forward progress. Response for the fires is coming from Washington, D.C. as well. Vice President Mike Pence was actually visiting Sacramento for a pre-scheduled event yesterday. Today, still in Northern California and taking surprise visits to the Office of Emergency Services, Pence said, in part, quote, I can assure you, as I did the governor, that the federal government stands ready to provide any and all assistance to the state of California as your outrageous, as your courageous firefighters and first responders confront this widening challenge, unquote. Also, President Donald Trump has approved a major disaster declaration for California and our wildfires, which will free up, of course, some federal funding. Now, as you may have noticed, the skies don't feel all that smoky in Stockton, and in this sky cam view, you can see smoke in the distance, but within Stockton, the skies are mainly blue. However, this imagery shown from NASA released today shows the toll that the smoke has had in the other places near California. You can see several communities are dealing with this bad smoke, and many will still be dealing with this bad smoke several more for several more days as a fire are, as the fires continue to burn on, and as hopefully the winds die down. Now, to put things into perspective for you and to show you more statistics, 37 fires are currently burning across California. California has seen 1,472 more fires this year than the average for the last five years. Now, the fire in Napa has almost made it on the top list for the 20 largest fires in California. With 14 dead victims, the fire in Napa County is now the 15th deadliest fire in modern California history. Also, since nearly 2,000 structures have burnt, this makes the fires in Napa County the third most damaging fires in California history. Stay with SCW News for the latest updates as these fires rage across Northern California. Now moving on to Stockton headlines. Early this morning, a male in his 30s was found shot near the 500th block of Burkett Avenue. He was taken to a hospital and he died there. This is now being investigated as a homicide. The suspect is an adult Hispanic male wearing a light-colored shirt. Anyone with information is urged to call a Stockton Police Department or Crime Stoppers. Four teenagers have been arrested after the police say they stole ten new cars. Only one of the cars was stolen only one of the cars stolen, I should say, from the Chevrolet dealership in Stockton is still missing. The teens also stole three hundred new vehicle keys. The accumulated total for the stolen property if the keys had to be replaced would be four hundred thousand dollars, according to the according to the dealership. Thanks for watching this SCB News Digest. Make sure to stay on this YouTube page for news and more later.